Tomorrow, February 1st, is World Hijab Day. My sister, Jaisai, would like to tell you about the hijab and what World Hijab Day means to us. One of the most visible symbols of Islam is the dress of a Muslim woman. The word describing the headscarf is called the hijab, which literally means veil or barrier. Muslim women wear hijabs as a form of modesty in public and in front of any man that is a blood relative to her. It is a symbol of protection, a way of means for a woman to be seen as a human being instead of as an object, and of course, another fashion accessory to add to her outfits every morning. Hijab isn't usually seen with a positive tone in the eyes of others. Oppressed and subjugated, these words are what come to mind when non-Muslims see a Muslim woman covered in hijab. People assume it's her father or some radical male member of her family who is forcing her to dress that way. And this is the way the media often portrays the hijab and Muslim women. We do not agree with this idea of, of oppression. It is the opposite of the truth. The headscarf is not a new idea in society. A symbol of modesty, a headscarf is also not only used in Islam, but also Christianity and Judaism. There are other ways to symbolize modesty, not just the actual headscarf. Tight clothes, heavy makeup, and perfume are not permitted in regards to appearance. There is also the idea of not attracting the attention of the opposite sex as a way to draw attention to yourself and your appearance. It's a way for women to be seen as equal to men, and certainly not as a way to promote a particular consumer good, like the car commercials with half-naked women standing beside them. You would never see you would never see a Muslim woman in those commercials and movies because she has her body covered. Almost all of us has, have seen misrepresentation, and we know how poorly women are portrayed in the media. When I was younger, I never would have imagined myself wearing the hijab. I thought it was too cool to wear something like that wherever I went. I was literally obsessed with myself, with my hair, and truly believed that I needed to impress every person that laid their eyes on me. This self-absorption angered my parents, so they took me out of Grand Island Public School and made me go to the Universal School, a private school here in Buffalo, and a totally different school than, I, than what I was exposed to for the first 11 years of my life. I wore a uniform, which included a headscarf. This was no longer a way to make myself look beautiful for the boys to notice. No, that wasn't going to be a part of my life anymore, and I didn't like it. Fast forward five years, I soon came to realize the true meaning of a hijab and its benefits. People liked me for who I was, not because I had long hair. On the plane back home from our eighth grade graduation trip to Saudi Arabia, where we performed a mini pilgrimage called Umda, I made the decision of a lifetime. I was going to start wearing a headscarf wherever I went. My mom didn't agree with me in, that, in the beginning. She had worn a hijab for about 15 years by that point and knew the struggles that came with it. She explained to me that I was too young, still had my life ahead of me, but I refused. Even a close woman to me told me she would never want her daughter to wear a hijab because she wants her to be someone in this world, to be, a success, to be a successful lady. That day, I promised myself I would prove her wrong. I would begin wearing a hijab before starting my new high school in a couple months, and I would become someone, not hide who I am. I was proud of my 360 degree transformation, of the girl that used to hide her true identity and religion, to the young woman you see in front of you all who lives to celebrate her responding roots, and empowered to educate others on the true meaning of the piece of cloth on her head. Sam has allowed me to become someone. Wearing a hijab is a required aspect of, Muslim, of Islam for Muslim women, but we also believe we may not judge any woman who does not cover. Like we mentioned before, wearing hijab is a personal choice. It, it may not be forced upon. As I have been asked many times, why does Hiba wear a scarf and I don't? It's because I personally am not ready to. Everyone has their own will to, well, to when they would like to. And though I definitely do see myself wearing it in the future, I'm just not ready for it now. Wearing hijab is not an easy thing to do here in America. I am faced with constant stares and even comments made to me, like go back to your own country, or called towelhead. Many Muslim women are not hired for jobs because they are underestimated as American women. Due to this, Muslim girls have felt the need to shape the way they dress to fit the needs of the community norms, me being one of them. Hijab has recently been, has recently been declining within the Muslim communities. Women have been dressing less and less in the original way that Muslim women would traditionally dress from being modest to trying to fit in, 
The idea of the headscarf has been declining, and the beauty of it has been overlooked by Muslims and non-Muslims alike. Because of this, last year, on February 1st, 2013, World Hijab Day was launched, a day to inform everybody about the meaning of hijab and to invite them to put themselves in the shoes of Muslim women across the nation. With the huge success of that day, with participation of women from all different religious backgrounds and all around the world, it was decided February 1st would become the official day for World Hijab Day for years to come. This year, 113 countries around the world are participating. The stories shared from women around the world have been eye-opening with Ella's. My name is Ella. I am 17 years old. I am not Muslim, but my friend told me about her friend being discriminated against for wearing a hijab. So I decided to see the discrimination firsthand to get a better understanding of what Muslim women go through. My friend and I pinned scarves around our heads, and then we went to the mall. Normally, vendors try to get us to buy things and ask us to sample a snack. Clerks usually ask us if we need help, tell us about sales, and smile at us. Not today. People, including vendors, clerks, and other shoppers, wouldn't look at us. They didn't talk to us. They acted like we didn't exist. They didn't want to be caught staring at us, so they didn't look at us at all. And then in one store, a girl, who looked about four years old, asked her mom if my friend and I were terrorists. She wasn't trying to be mean or anything. I don't even think she could have grasped the idea of prejudice. However, her mother's response is one I can never forgive or forget. Her mother rushed her child, glared at me, and then took her daughter by the hand and led her out of the store. All that because I put a scarf on my head. Just like that, a mother taught her little girl that being Muslim was evil. It didn't matter that I was a nice person. All that mattered was that I looked different. And that little girl may grow up and teach her children the same thing. This experiment gave me a huge wake-up call. It lasted for only a few hours, so I can't even begin to imagine how much prejudice Muslim girls go through every day. It reminded me of something that many people know but rarely remember. The women in hijabs are people, just like all those women out there who aren't Muslim. World Hijab Day invites any girl that wants to put herself in the shoes of a Muslim woman here in America for one day. This is to be able to feel how Muslim women feel every day, judged and uncomfortable. It's also to kill all the stereotypes associated with the headscarf. I know that's a huge thing, and you must be really strong to do it for a day, so we ask of you to at least keep your minds open and not to judge a woman by her cover, and to give you an analogy of the beauty of the headscarf. The pea is a splendid plant. It proudly displays its strong green outer layer. It protects it from the hot and cold weather and guards it from insects. The orange keeps itself within its shiny orange peel to protect its delicious fruit. Otherwise, it loses its taste too. So are the banana, the coconut, and the pomegranate. Each one has an elegant and unique covering, which protects it from disease and destruction. The jewel of the sea, the pearl, has been given a very tough and rigid outer covering, the oyster shell. It protects it from sea animals and keeps it sparkling and shining inside. Same goes to a girl or woman that covers herself with modest clothing and a headscarf. It protects her from harm, injury, and mischief. She wears it knowing it gives her dignity, beauty, and respect. A girl in a hijab is like a pearl in its oyster, pure and beautiful. We hope that you all join us in celebrating World Hijab Day. Thank you.